Hello everyone and welcome back to in the coding part of this video. So let's get started. And first of all, the first step of it is importing the li necessary libraries. So we are going to import the pandas.pd, numpy as mp, sklearn, matplotlib.pyplot as plt, sklearn.dataset, import load digit, this is the dataset we're working on, and import seaborn as sns. Now the activity we're working on is related to figuring out or identifying handwritten digits. So that's why we will be needing sklearn.dataset import load digit. Now we're going to load the data set. Digit is equal to load and core data. And data is equal to pd.data frame, digit.data. Now we're going to print the first five rows and this is our output or our data. Now we're going to plot the graph. So underscore comma axis is equal to plt.stubplot n rows one n calls for fixed size 10 by 3. Figure size 10 by 3 is this much as you can see. 10 is the length while 3 is the height. So for axe image, label in zip axis digit dot image digit dot target. What we're doing, we are actually printing the data set, not printing, but plotting or, you know, showing the data set using this. So axis dot set is underscore axe underscore off. We do this, and now we're going to do the im show image. A cm gray r c map is equal to plt dot cm dot gray r interpolation nearest. Now the title is training percentage i percentage label and plt dot show. As you can see, this is our output. We have zero, we have one, we have two, and we have three. And training um, percentage i, we're saying that whatever number is going to be, put that number. So if it's three, then it's going to show three. Now, next step is to prepare the data. So we are going to have n samples, len digit image, print n samples, digit x, digit image, reshape n samples minus one. Now we're going to print x again. Now y digit dot target, we're going to print y now. And now from sklearn dot model selection, we're going to import train test split. Now x train x test, y train and y test is all equal to train test split. x y test size is 0 0.2, random state is 4. So what we're doing here is we are doing the train test split. Now we're going to Print the shape of X train, Y train, X test, and Y test. So let's go. Yeah, so now we are going to be doing, we're going to train the model using linear kernel. This is what our topic is related to. So from sklearn.svm, we are going to import svc. Now linear model is equal to svc kernel linear, linear model dot print x train and y train. Now we're going to print the accuracy score. So accuracy of model, accuracy of model for linear kernel is x test, y test is format linear model dot score, x test, y test multiplied by 100. It's 98.05. Five, five, five. Now we're going to do it with the polynomial kernel. So polynomial underscore model is equal to SVC kernel poly, polynomial model fit X train, Y train. Now we're going to print accuracy of, mo accuracy of model for polynomial kernel. Then we're going to do the code and it's going to be 98.88889 and continue. Now let's just check it out with the last one and we can see which one to choose. If it's 98, if the accuracy is good for the linear kernel, then why bother to do the others? Well, we need to check which one is good and which one is more comfortable and you know, better. Of course, poly would also require less training time. So we could always go for poly too, but RPF, it, it is pretty 
hard in training. So let's go ahead. RBF underscore model is equal to SBC kernel RBF. RBF underscore model fit X train, Y train. Now the accuracy of model for RBF kernel is 99.166. So you can say that this time RBF won the, or you can say RBF scored the highest accuracy, which is 98, 99. And this is why we can choose from any of these, any of them. I'll be seeing you in my next video, which is going to be the homework activity of this. So I'll see you then.